this is going to ensure that we have a passive fit yeah. when we put the temporary in. So now we're going to put on our scan bodies. So these are the, we call them the sure. dual purpose scan bodies. These are the second generation scan bodies for the Micron Mapper. We need to capture the position of the implants, yeah. but we also need to capture the soft tissue. So when we capture the soft tissue, we need something to cover over these caps in order to, to capture the tissue adequately. That's what we're going to use these for. The other ones, you had to put the Micron Mapper scan bodies on, which had a screw in them, seat all of those, take your photogrammetry scan, and then take those off and put on the multi-unit caps. Yeah. So it was an extra step of taking them off and putting a new set on. So now that these caps are on, we just snap these on. These are the things to capture the photogrammetry, so this just snaps right in. Super easy. And then you can rotate them. Which before, if you wanted to rotate one, like if you were hard to see this one, this one was blocking it, in order to rotate it, you have to unscrew it, reseat it, screw it back down. So to have these ones that snap on top of these tie bases, you can just very easily rotate them. It's so much nicer. I mean, look how, look how easily they pop on. They just, they go on so much easier. Those look pretty sexy. And so you don't suture before you? No, so this is just capturing the implant positions. This is not capturing the soft tissue at all. Right. The reason we seat these before you suture is because it's a lot easier to get these fully seated. For the trio scan, to capture the soft tissue, we'll pop off those scan bodies, and then we'll graft, we'll suture everything up, we'll leave those tie bases on, then we'll scan those. There's basically three main photogrammetry systems. There's, this is the Micron Mapper. These ones kind of come pre-calibrated. And so some of the other ones, like the it's bulkier, it's heavier. You have to calibrate it every time. You have to hold it with two hands because it's super heavy. This is just, I mean, this is like a one pound. You just hold it in one hand and there's even like a handle you can put on it as so you're holding it. Okay, so we're gonna put this on. See, move it over, change the angle. It's kind of crazy, you can hold it way out there and it gets it. So that's how long it should take, right? So now this produces an STL file. So we just export that file, upload it to Dropbox, the lab will get it immediately. They're basically going to take all these files and they're going to merge them all together yeah. on their CAD CAM software. And they're going to take the photogrammetry, soft tissue scan, yep. the pre-op design. We're going to get a final soft tissue scan with those reference screws so they can align it. Yeah. Then they'll be able to come up with the design. Once you see it, it'll make yeah. all the sense. They put all that together, send it back to you, and then it gets printed. Yeah. Yeah. All right, here, you're going to do it now. Okay. So push that, and then you'll be able to... Can I do it? Am I doing anything different? No, just do exactly oh, what I just did. Okay. Dude, you got him faster than I did. <laughs> I'm just that good. This yeah. literally replaces a jig verification. Yeah. Multiple appointments, looting, all that acrylic, mm -hmm. picking up the cylinders, curing it. There's error for like curing, material expansion. Yeah. This just, you just did it in 10 seconds. It's done. Yeah. So now this is going to ensure that we have a passive fit yeah. when we put the temporary in. This just captured that exact position. Yeah. Now I'm just popping these off. Done. Yeah. You know, 20 seconds, they're all off. Yeah.